It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today I want to talk about this album right here, Earl Sweatshirt's latest album called I Don't Like Shit, I Don't Go Outside. All right, um, y'all already know who Earl Sweatshirt is. If not, go check my last review of um his debut album Doris um, just to briefly go into some of the shit if you don't if you've heard of the uh, group or collective called Odd Future he is one of the uh, premier members of Odd Future and um, dude is dope lyrically um, I, I'm trying not to rehash what I said in the Doris review um, but let's just let's just go right into it because I don't I don't want to ramble all fucking day um, if you want a brief history go back to that shit but um here's the artwork very simple minimalistic which I like love the title by the way I don't like shit I don't go outside I mean um that describes me sometimes. Sometimes I feel like a fucking recluse and I don't want to deal with half of y'all. So I'll just, I can stay within the confines of my own home and, and have my own fun or entertain myself. Um, artwork on the back, kind of haunting there. You, you, you have a picture of, I believe, I believe that's him, Earl Switcher. He's like laying on, on something. Looks like he's dozing off or dying or whatever. You had a picture of someone um, bound and strung out naked, almost, I don't want to say like a crucifix because his arms aren't out, but right there where my middle finger is. Um, kind of eerie. Let's go inside here. Here's the artwork there. CD. What appears on the CD is the title, I don't like shit, I don't go outside. And, um... Those two figures there, I think, I don't, I, I, I'm assuming, I don't, uh, that they might be lepers or something. They just look like they're isolated in, in, in uh, some type of dark ass corridor. Don't quote me on that. I'm just, I'm just thinking that they're lepers. You take the CD out. There's nothing there. Just black. Um, let's go into the um, actual insert itself. On the back of the insert, you got the uh, titles to the CD, the track listing. Only 10 tracks on this bitch. <clears throat> so, album's very short, by the way. So, you go inside the insert. You got a, uh, what is this? I forget what this is. This is uh, a grave right here. Grave site on this page. Open this bitch up. More visuals. Let me put that there. Black page here, more visuals there. There you got more visuals, more eerie ass fucking shit, sculptures and shit. And finally you get to the um, credits right here. So let's jump into this bitch real quick. All right, production wise on this album, uh, Earl Sweatshirt, did all of the production on this bitch <clears throat> except one track uh, called Off Top uh, it was produced by Left Brain 
but Earl did all the production on here. And um, I would just like to say that, well, I'm gonna, let me, I'll save that for the pros and cons. Um, features on this bitch. You have Dash, Wiki, Nakel, and Vince Staples. <clears throat> All these features on here, even though there's 10 tracks on here, and um, these features appear near towards the end, um, I like what they have to add. Uh, my man uh, Nakel, he kind of sounded a little bit like, I don't want to say bad, but he wasn't horrible, he just seemed, seemed kind of like lackluster, but... Um, you know, I was watching Dead End Hip Hop's review of this shit, and you know, they they um, found out the reason, like how he got on the track and shit, and uh, you know, there were, he was talking about how um, he lost uh, somebody close to him, and and um, Earl told him to jump on the track and just spit about it. So, um, like they said, that added a little something. You know, when you when you look into it, that that makes the verse much more um dope so I, I have to concur with uh dead and hip hop on that one so um features aren't bad on here <clears throat> now going into the pros and cons what I wanted to mention before production wise on here I love the production on here now I know some of y'all that are subscribed to me um will refer to that Doris uh review and say well uh Earl Sweatshirt did a lot of production on there and uh you know you didn't like it you said that it, it was boring to you and um i don't know i i feel different about this shit this one had me going from beginning to end as far as production uh flow wise lyrically um i have no problem with earl sweatshirt uh he's he's one of the best out of our future to me and uh you know, content-wise on here, it's still the same shit with Earl. I love that he could rap about uh, depression, drugs. He even references in, in one or two bars his little um, uh, sabbatical on, um, where the fuck, what island is that? Not Guam. It's either Guam or Samoa. I forget. He spent some time out there um, due to some of the, uh, the things that was going on in his life. I forget what actual... Um, territory of america it's 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 one of them off offshoot islands um don't it, someone put it down there uh if you know what it is um but you know i love the fact that he's able to do that he sounds a little bit more you know he's like he's changing his voice a little bit even though he's still monotone which i like uh, a little bit more energetic you know i, I Personally, I like this album way better than Doris, and, um, you know, this one, I wasn't even expecting it to come out, and it came out, um, and I, I saw that FYE, I went and picked that bitch up, and, dude, I was nodding my head the whole time listening to this shit, absorbing the lyrics, and, and, and running with this shit, and, um, the other thing is, uh, which again could go either way i've said this in other uh reviews that the length of time on the shit i think it's like it's like 30 minutes or some shit like that so um you can listen to this and 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 get a lot of plays out of it and try to catch all the shit that he's saying and um i really enjoy the album really enjoy what Earl Sweatshirt did on this album, his growth a little bit, at least to me, that's my opinion. Um, I really enjoyed it. My rating of this, I could easily say that this is this is a, a fucking uh, eight, solid eight out of ten. I, I, I fucking enjoy this. I keep listening to it. I listen to it almost every fucking day now, um, when I'm working and or working out, whatever. Uh, I, I, I pop this on and um, shout out to Earl Sweatshirt. Shout out to um, Odd Future. Hopefully, uh, my man Tyler, the creator, comes out with physical 
copies of Cherry Bomb. I want to fucking review that one because I know that I, I believe that came out on iTunes. And um, yeah, that's it. I know people wanted to hear my review on this or what I had to say about it. So there it is. And um, that's it. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. And um, that's it. Peace, bitches.